Hello everyone, Dr. Amanda here. And today I just wanted to share my story on my wellness journey and how I prevented weight regain. So a lot of people have problems. They're like, okay, they have a diet in mind that they go on and then they can stick with it for a few weeks, maybe even a few months, and then they give up and then they start to gain the weight back and they're usually at a weight higher than when they initially started their weight loss or wellness journey well a lot of people wonder how i was able to lose weight and keep it off and i'm just going to go through um, a few stages of what i went through um, on my journey and how i was able to keep off my weight so my first initial um, feeling, I guess it was, was a feeling of sadness and depression. And that was because um, when I first learned that I weighed 199 pounds as a 14 year old in a gym class, that I felt devastated, embarrassed, couldn't believe I had um, come to this weight. And you know, you can look at yourself in the mirror and see this, but it's not until I saw that number in front of me that those feelings just rushed into me. And I was like, I don't want to feel this way anymore. So I actually started exercising. And what I would do is actually save my lunch money um, and buy different equipment to exercise. Um, I was not one that just went out and started running. Um, if you know, any of my story, you know that that wasn't a part of, part of my journey until later. But I would buy different gadgets um, that you would see on TV, like the Thigh Master or Ab Roller. Um, if any of you were back in the 90s, you would remember those infomercials. And um, I even bought um, one of those um, like tens like machines to where they would send electrical shocks. Um, to your muscles to try to build up those muscles. You know, I would see those and I'm like, oh, I want abs like that or something. And so that's where my journey started. So from a period of sadness and depression to like, I want to do something different. And so I decided to exercise. So how did I continue on? Because that was 14. I was age of 14 and now I am 43. So I'm still losing weight and keeping it off. Um, the next um, step I would say in my journey was positive reinforcement. So, um, you know, you start to lose weight and then not only do you notice, but other people start to notice. And of course, as a teenage girl, you know, like you feel a certain type of way um, if you look a certain type of way. Right. Um, so as I continued through my journey, um, I was able to next become a cheerleader um again i had probably lost about that time maybe 20 30 pounds something like that um so i was still overweight but i was able to um actually make the cheerleading squad and i even show some pictures on my um social media sites of you know me in my cheerleading uniform and you can still like i said see that i'm overweight i don't remember having any pictures currently um myself from when i was a teen um 14 year old but um there was still some significant weight loss and so i being able to do that and actually being in front of a crowd and feeling more confident um and people seeing you there and you know just you know feeling better um feeling accomplished um so that kept me going on the journey and that was two years into my journey and then um, that year, that same year I became a cheerleader, I actually became a vegetarian. And, um, again, this was no like insight that I was like, okay, if I become a vegetarian, I'm going to lose more weight. That wasn't the case at all. It was just like, okay, this was something I can do. But then I saw that it actually helped me more with weight loss and again, more positive reinforcement. Um, and I was not necessarily looking to be the healthiest person. I just wanted to lose the weight, right? And then, um, so I probably stayed at that weight for a number of years um, through um, college, um, continuing to eat vegetarian, um, continuing with some exercise program, all the way through residency. Um, I probably um, was able to lose a little bit of weight in um, undergrad, 
But once medical school and residency um, came along, those hours got longer. But again, I still ate vegetarian and uh, did some exercises. I even hired my first personal trainer as a resident. And that was because I would go to the gym and exercise, but I would not sweat. And my um, stepfather used to give me a hard time. He was like, I don't know anyone that goes to the gym and exercises and comes back with not a lick of sweat on them. So I was going through the motions, but wouldn't necessarily put it in the work, right? And so that's when I brought a coach along and um, a personal trainer and decided to go a little bit deeper into that. And so therefore I was able to tone up a little bit more and to actually um, lose a little bit more weight. So then um, as I went through residency and became, um, it went into practice, um, the deeper why came in. So that's why I usually tell people that you usually have to have a deep sense of why you want to change to keep you going. So again, I'll start back. So the first feeling was sadness, depression, embarrassment, um, and the fear that I would regain the weight. I didn't mention that. Therefore, I kept doing the things that I needed to do to keep the weight off, um, trying to eat less and exercise. Um, and then the positive reinforcement, um, not only through what I saw, but what others were seeing in me. And then became, um, you know, decades later, a deeper why that um, I learned that nutrition can actually um, prevent chronic diseases that I would see in my family, um, diabetes, obesity, um, high blood pressure, heart disease, um, kidney disease, and all these can be related to nutrition. So once I learned that, um, that pushed me further into making nutrition changes. So I was no longer the junk food vegetarian. I actually became more vegan and then starting to focus on eating more plant-based, um, whole foods, not more refined foods. Um, and that was a different type of positive reinforcement that I received from that. So I actually lost more weight. Um, and then my energy level became better. Um, I started to have um, a deeper sense of well-being. So I didn't have a lot of the back aches and headaches that I used to have. Um, I used to have headaches so bad um, that my grandmother would keep me stocked in Excedrin. And it was after I started to stop some of those processed foods, sugars, um, Coca-Cola, which I was a Coke, I loved Coke, um, that I actually started to have less of those. And now when I have a headache, I'm like, oh my goodness, where did that come from? So it, again, a more positive reinforcement that not only did I look better, I felt better. Um, and then now I'm in the point to where I'm just giving myself grace. Um, I no longer have that feeling of sadness or depression, but I continue to have the positive reinforcement. Um, therefore, I learn um, to help others and teach others. Um, so, and then seeing them change gives me that reinforcement for myself um, that I'm doing the right thing and helping others. And then that why I know that as we continue to get older, our bodies um, can continue to kind of catch up with us from what we did as a younger person. And therefore, um, I want to try to reverse as much uh, damage I did younger. Um, and therefore, I do more um, activity. Um, I definitely try to continue to eat better. But um, if for some reason I feel like I'm not doing 100%, that I give myself grace. And that's where it comes along because every single meal that you have, every single um, time you want to eat a snack or you don't want to go out and exercise, you don't feel like exercising, you um, happen to come down with a cold. Um, as in such of this video, my um, daughter was sick and taking care of her. I became um, a little bit sick, but not as sick as I would if I wasn't taking care of my body. So it's just um, a journey and um, never arriving, but continuously learning and changing and no matter what step of the journey that you are currently on, um, just know that you can do it. Um, just continue to be encouraged. Um, give yourself grace along the way. And of course, if you're a person that's like, I love this journey, um, but I need a little bit help, a little bit more support, I am here to help you. 
Um, so I would like to invite you to join the wait list for my next six week program to where we discuss different lifestyle changes and lifestyle implementations that you can make to just help you along the journey. Because just imagine thinking that if I just take one step at a time, I actually follow um, what Dr. Amanda, myself, is talking about, and you actually make these changes. And for yourself, you come in and you actually see different stages in your own journey and how you're a lot further along, you're feeling better, you're enjoying your children um, or grandchildren, you're able to um, go running like I am now, or you're able to go hiking up that big side of the hill. Um, anything that you want to do, you're able to travel, um, as you're in retirement and just enjoy life. So that's what we're looking for. And I invite you to continue on your journey and blessings and health to you. Bye-bye.